Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners on how to enter credit card charges. My name is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University, so I want to walk through in this video uh, how to properly enter credit card charges. So a lot of people make mistakes when it comes to entering uh, credit card charges in QuickBooks, and what they typically do is they will get their credit card bill, whether it's online or in the mail, whatever the case may be, and they will enter the minimum payment as a bill in QuickBooks, and that's incorrect. And the reason that's incorrect is because all of those credit card charges that are on your statement are actually expenses that you can take. And you want to make sure that you record the credit card balance. So if you don't pay off your credit card every month and you carry a balance, let's say you just you know make minimum payments or just you know make periodic payments, whatever it is. Um, you have to record that liability and that liability, what that means is that you owe the credit card company money. So you want to make sure that you get that, uh, those credit card charges entered correctly. Okay. So let's walk through the process here. All right. So you can see here, you've got an option here, enter credit card charges. And so in this case, we're going to assume that you got your statement again, whether it's, uh, electronically or in the mail, whatever the case may be, if you are not entering these during the month, you want to go in and you want to enter these credit card charges. Okay. So again, you can go here. Okay. Or you can go up to here to the banking drop down menu. You can see here you have an option enter credit card charges. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And you'll see uh, it brings up a form. Uh, this is called a form in QuickBooks and it makes it a little bit simpler to uh, enter information. All right. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to look at your statement. You're going to say, okay, what was my first charge? And we're going to say, let's say this was purchased from, you're going to pick the vendor. So let's say this was Costco. Okay, so you went to Costco, you got some supplies. So you're going to put in the date of the charge. All right, now it's going to default when you enter this, you enter the vendor, it's going to default to today's date. Now what you want to do is you want to look on your statement, you want to say, okay, well, when did we make this charge? All right, so let's say it was November 30th. Now, this is important because this is when it's going to take this expense. So if you charged it in November, it's going to take the expense in November. So when you're looking at a profit and loss statement in QuickBooks, it will show this expense in November. Now, if you put December, it'll show it in December. So you want to make sure that you get the date of the charge correct. Okay. Reference number. Uh, typically, there's not going to be a reference number when you're entering credit card charges. So you can leave that blank. Okay. And then the amount. All right, so this is just simply whatever the amount was. We'll say this was $51.23. You can put in a memo uh, if you want to. You don't need to. And you, you know, this is defaulting to office supplies because that's associated with Costco. But of course, you know, let's say you got tires for a, a business vehicle. You could put it to auto maintenance or repairs and maintenance. Uh, but in this case, we're going to say office supplies. And then you can put in, again, if you want to put in a memo, an internal memo. And then here you can assign this to a customer. All right. So if this is, if you're job costing and this is a, a job you're working on, you need to charge it to the customer. Then you can put the customer here and you can specify if, if it's billable or not. Meaning, are you going to bill this to, to the customer or are you not? And then finally, you can put in your class if you are using class tracking. Okay. So what you do, you get this charge put in there. And then if you have another one you need to enter, you're going to do save and new. If not, you can hit save and close. Okay. We'll hit save and close. And then that is the way that you enter the credit card charge. Now, again, this is important for a couple of reasons. One, because you can take that expense on the date of the charge. And so you want to make sure you get all those charges in there so that you get all those expenses and you track the amount owed to the credit card company that shows up on your balance sheet. Okay. Now, the other reason this is important is because at the end of the month, you should be reconciling your credit card statement, just like you reconcile a bank statement in QuickBooks. Very simple to do. Make sure you captured all the charges, all the payments, etc. cetera. Uh, so you want to make sure that you're reconciling that each month. And we go through that in a different video. If you have any questions, any comments whatsoever, please feel free to leave those below and I will be happy to uh, answer those for you. Also, you can discover more at the QuickBooks University. Just head on over to qbuniversity.org.